Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my VRChat World Showcase series. As always, I want to show you 10 cool worlds in VRChat again. This time I already recorded the entire episode until I realized I was not recording. So, uh, gonna do it again now. This time I am recording, yes. Uh, also, if I sound a little different, I currently have COVID. Uh, yes. I'm okay though. Only the throat hurts a little bit. But other than that, I'm okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right started. The first world that we're in is called Cloud Dream by Goo. And basically everything you see here is the world. Uh, you have a very fancy bed in the middle of clouds up in the sky. And that's kind of it. There's like dolphins jumping around sometimes. And I think the sky in general just looks kind of pretty. Like shooting stars. I don't know, the aesthetic is kind of cool. It might be a little bit too bright for me personally, but I still think it generally looks kind of nice. So yeah, nice. The next world is called Guile's Animation World 2020 by Guile. And there are six songs, you can see them here, with pretty cool music visualizations. And I would say I'll just show you a couple of those. Next world is called Sun Shower Shrine Sanctuary by Tiva. And it is a very pretty looking world with a lot of pink trees and a pretty cool flying system. When you grab behind your back, you get a sphere. And when you have that in your hand and you hold the trigger, then you can drag and then you fly into a direction. And with this, you can fly through the world and explore it. And it looks really pretty. L look at this. This looks like a really pretty world, no? Yeah. Atmosphere is great. Music is kind of nice. You can go quite far in that direction and explore a little bit. Nothing too crazy special though. It's all kind of in the same style. And it's just a nice place to hang out. Can also hold quite a few people. Uh, yeah, good looking world. Next world is called Portal Gun Udon by Suzuki Ai. And as the name suggests, it's bait basically a portal game. You have two portal guns that you can fire. Uh, by default they are behind your back. They will respawn in a second. Yep, and then you grab there. You got them. And then they work pretty well. At the moment you only see black in here. But if you go into my perspective then you can look through them and they work really well. And if I just walk through here and I will walk through there. They also work momentum based, so if you place the portal up here, one down here, I will fall down. Whee! And I can jump around. And then you can solve a couple of puddles. It's essentially like portal, but visually a little more simple. Um, it works really well. You can have fun. If you like portal, definitely check it out. If you have a stomach that can get sick easily with motion, then maybe this is not for you. But generally, I can recommend it's a cool game kind of world. Next world is called Sakura no Hana by Kuma TV. And it's a very pretty world. You have a very 
beautiful cherry tree here and a lot of pink nice flowers and some nice particles up there in the sky which look kind of nice and good music and basically that's it for the world but I think it looks pretty good uh, sometimes like every now and then there's also a little bit of a particle explosion show kind of thing Yeah, for example, right now, you can see there is stuff happening around these particles. But I do have to say that it is a little bit laggy. Other than that, still a cool world. I like it visually. Next world is called Samidarero by Shino Samidare. And it's a pretty cool world for trying out clothes for your avatar. As you can see, there's already four pieces of clothing here. Uh, there's also one over here and then we have another room that also has different types of clothes and there's a couple more and the cool thing about this world is that if you try these clothes on they will actually follow your avatar and your movement your body and you can even change the scale of them for example I want to showcase it with this one if I go here and then I grab the jacket and then press the trigger then a mirror will spawn and you can see, I can see myself and there's a lot of different options. And it's already following my avatar pretty well. I can also change the position of the mirror. There's also different materials. You can change the color of the clothing. And if you go to advanced, you can also move the specific parts forwards, backwards, scale them up, scale them down and make it fit properly for you. If I close this again, you can go here and say, okay, I want to try the skirt on too. Boom. Great. Now I have the skirt on. You can see it follows the legs. Of course, it's a little janky, but that's okay. Uh, just to check how things generally look on your avatar. This is really cool, I think. I can move this forward. Okay, that's a lot. Maybe just a little bit and make everything fit properly. And there's a lot of different clothes and it's cool to check if something maybe suits your avatar, if you want to purchase something, if you want to maybe make something yourself, or just to kind of have a look at things, it's really cool. If you put both of your hands next to your head and press the trigger, then you will put them off again and then it's there and you can try on the next things. It's really cool. <laughs> next world is called VR Dancing by Mixi and it is one of the best dancing worlds in VR chat. You have a pretty cool uh, dancing stage here, big video screen and the cool thing about it is the way you select your songs over here because you can filter really really nicely you can filter for specific instructors or maybe just dance or fitness marshal or whatever or you can also exclude specific ones if you don't like them you can scroll through all the songs sort by song or by artist you can also put in a custom song uh, just a link you can also search specifically for a name and there's a little bit of extra information for all the specific songs so if you click on the i then over here you can see the information if it is for two people for solo if it is for three people uh, if it is very exhausting if it is for beginners if it's just fitness stretching yoga whatever and overall just really cool there's also a lot of camera settings over here whoops there uh, that can override your ca camera so if I do this now you can see and it will slowly transition between the different camera settings that you can also completely customize and then you will have a nice view of your dancing floor if you're done with dancing on the dance floor you can maybe just uh, sit down here and watch a little bit how the other stands or there's also quite a nice of uh, hangout area over there a good looking design uh, you can also go outside. Outside the music will stop if there's something playing that you really just don't want to hear. Uh, over here is a nice hangout area. And you can also go upstairs. And from upstairs there's also a good view down at the dance floor. Overall a really well thought out dance world. Uh, if you want to do dancing in VR, this is probably the world where you want to go to. The next world is called Big Sunset Express by Donamo163. And it is also one of my favorite worlds. It's really, really well made in my opinion. It's a train with a very nice sunset uh, that looks very good. 
looking out on the ocean and uh, yeah generally it's it's a train and you can also customize a couple of things so down here you have a couple of settings for example you can say okay I want the chairs to be facing each other I want the way to have four people sit uh, facing each other with a nice view and it looks really good I just like it a lot also as always I really like shadows and here you can you can do fancy 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 things with shadow play <laughs> yeah I don't know it's probably one of my favorite train worlds out there it looks very pretty uh, can definitely recommend you to check it out Next world is called Wesley's and the Crusher's Christmas Special by Iqbal from Squid and it's a kinda funny meme world that's kinda well made though. So when you start out you can talk to these very beautiful PNGs, they will tell you a story. Uh, the band has gone missing, you need to find them and rescue them to play a concert. And if we walk over here, we have a couple very nice PNG weapons we can fire off. Or also a PNG uh, lightsaber. And well. This is essentially the game. You also have the force. You can move things from further away. And yeah, then you just run around. And uh, try to find the band members. And try to not fucking die. It is quite big, uh, there's quite a lot to explore and I really find it kind of funny. Uh, and it's well optimized, you have frames here, that is cool. But yeah, maybe if you like it, uh, have a look at it. And the last world for today is called Light at the End by Hippostar. And it is a world with basically two trees, a big door, you can't go through there, and a pretty cool atmosphere. So you have these trees. If you turn around, then uh, there's a couple of settings for post-processing, a mirror and everything, of course. But generally, it's just a pretty cool looking world. It looks nice. Cool atmosphere. And yes. But yeah, that's already it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Did you have a favorite world out of these? If yes, please tell me so in the comments. I'd be interested in that. In general, feedback is always appreciated. I read all the comments and I really like them. Uh, more and more people are coming to the series and enjoy them and makes me happy. More people need to explore cool worlds. There's so many crazy things in VR chat and so many things are hidden and like and so few people know about so many cool things. And even I probably only know like a fraction of all the cool worlds I have been kind of sitting in the past and there's been so many new cool worlds that I didn't even touch yet. Um, you won't get bored. That much I can say. <laughs> but yeah, all the links to the worlds are always down in the description, also the timestamps. There's also my GitHub project where I have all my saved worlds categorized, uploaded, so you can download that if you want. And yeah, playlist is also down in the description to all the other episodes. Last time I mentioned that I'm working on my setup video and I actually have switched back from Pico 4 to my index. So I am back on the cable right here Maybe you did hear the sound difference, I don't know. Uh, I'm currently not sure what I want to use. So the setup might take a little longer, the video to make, because I don't know what setup I will use all the time now. But hey, we'll see. Anyways, I wish you all a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.